Hello and welcome. Let's talk about the fact that this video game, No Man's Sky, has this incredibly large number of planets. So I want to talk about this number, and we could talk about a lot in this game, but for the sake of large numbers, let's start here, where we talk about one of the large numbers in the game, which is the number of unique planets that we can explore. Now this number uh, is, is 18 quintillion. Right, it's over 18 quintillion. That's this place over here. As we work our way up there, let's just pay attention uh, to the place value and how it relates to powers of 10. Um, we were familiar, I think, with the earlier place values 1, 10, and 100. But of course, we can name these in powers of 10. 1's is 10 to the 0, 10's is 10 to the 1st, and then 100's is 10 to the 2nd. So we're starting to use powers of 10 to name these place values, which is really useful. Then we have thousands here. That's 10 to the third, 10 thousandths, 10 to the fourth, right? And then 100 thousandths, 10 to the fifth. And we have some uh, the landmarks here we can circle. Thousands really important. Uh, they're all important, I guess. But notice that every time we jump up three powers of 10, we get to a new type of name for numbers. So thousands and then three more powers up we get here. And we're into millions, 10 to the sixth, our next landmark. Then 10 millions, 10 to the seventh, 10 to the eighth, 100 million, then billion here, right? That's 10 to the ninth. We jump up from three to six to nine. And then after billion, 10 million, 100 billion, then trillion, 10 to the twelfth. And then uh, 10 trillion, 100 trillion, quadrillion here, 10 to the fifteenth. And then 10 quadrillion, 100 quadrillion, and then quintillion, 10 quintillion, and so on and so forth. So this number, right, is of the order, uh, right, 10 to the 19th, right, we reach the 10 to the 19th place value, unbelievable. So here, we can ask lots of questions about this. Um, let's start with just playing around this number before we get to some other aspects, and we can ask lots of questions here. So this question says, using scientific notation, estimate the number of planets to the nearest quintillion, quadrillion, and hundred trillion. So to the nearest quintillion, that's this place value right here, the 8. So for the rounding, we use the place value before it, right, the 100 quadrillion. And since it's a 4, right, of course, you might recognize the common rule. If it's between 1 and 4, including 1 and 4, of course, uh, 0 and 4, excuse me, we don't round up. We leave the number we're looking at, in this case, this 8, where it is. If it was 5 or over, we round up. But of course, that's just standard rounding for most um, math assessments. But that could be bent, depending on the context. Anyway, so that means here that to round this to the nearest quintillion, we could say it's 18 quintillions. And now quintillions are 10 to the 18th. So this is 18 times 10 to the 18th. To get it in scientific notation, we can divide 18 by 10 to get 1.8, and multiply 10 to the 18th by 10 to get 10 to the 19th. And this would be our number right here, to the nearest uh, quintillion. Quadrillion, let's find that. That's this place value right here, the 6. So this is not going to be as pretty, and I'll go right into scientific notation here. Um, we get 1.844, and I'm just writing these digits, 1844. And then 7, we round up, because this 7 over here, the, the place value below the quadrillion, uh, is above 5, so we round up. And what is that? Well, it's still times 10 to the 19th in scientific notation. And then lastly, just to, to see what's happening here, 100 trillion. Um, this 7 is in the 100 trillion place, so now we just go 1.84467, and we leave the 7 where it is, because the 10 trillion place over here is below 5. And it's still times 10 to the 19th. So we're not changing the number, right? We're just changing the degree that we're rounding it to. And so those are three different ways to round this incredibly awesome number. Thanks.